Hey everybody, do you know what time it is? It is time for some more. Let's play Kirby's Epic Yarn. In the last part, we did the second two levels of the second world, I guess. And in this part, we are going to do the fourth level, and hopefully we will take on the boss. Alright. Dino Jungle. This is actually a really cool level. Um, in case you couldn't tell, it's all about dinosaurs. Hadder. Yeah. Alright, so let's start. We're just gonna jump right into this. Um, yeah, so what's been up? I'll just jump right into my commentary, I suppose. Um... I was just in a call with a few friends of mine, and we were talking about, um, you know, 9-11, you know, the subject being bought upon by Osama Bin Laden's death, which at the, at the time of uploading this, it's probably old news, but whatever. Yeah, so we, we were talking about just, like, the 9-11 instant, the 9-11 thing, just in general, and, um, a, a cool story came up. My father's girlfriend, because my parents are divorced, yeah, his, his, um, girlfriend slash wife, um, his wife was actually scheduled to have a meeting at the top of the Twin Towers when uh, on 9-11, but she had to cancel for whatever reason. And then, well, yeah, obviously. So, yeah, it, it's that kind of thing that really makes you question, like, you know, is it fate and all that, you know? And, and then you get survivor guilt, like, you know, why was it me and all that. And then, um, apparently, um, well, Slushy was telling me that, like, the boss of, or the boss or whatever of the Twin Towers... Like, he had to step out of the, of the you know, the buildings, because his daughter had a, some kind of school thing. And while he was gone, the, the um, towers went down. So, yeah, it's it's that kind of thing that really makes you question, you know, fate and all that. Kind of, kind of what we're subject to talk about in, um, in a Kirby's Epic Yarn video, because this game is just so kitty. But, yeah, one mechanic I really like is that on these pterodactyls, you can just kind of swing around um, and avoid those bees. Actually, what are those? Are those bees? They're like little... Actually, I guess they're hornets, because they have horns. Ah, uh, funny. Alright, there's the first treasure, a torch. Kind of a fitting, um, a fitting treasure. And I love how, as soon as I see torch, I think of Minecraft. Yeah, it's actually kind of funny. Like, me and my friends have been playing Minecraft so much that we're actually starting to call the items different things. Like, for, for whatever reason, we're calling torches candles. I'm not sure why I started doing that, but... Yeah, just like the little, um, I guess memes like that. And can I get the... Fine, I don't want your rupee. See if I care. And for some reason, I am reminded of bad dinosaur movie movies for kids. Land, what is it? The Land of Time? Is that it? Oh, it's like it, it's about a whole bunch of kid dinosaurs, and, and I used to love those movies as a kid when I was a bar because they were really popular back then. Uh, th the Land of Time? I think that was it. Yeah, I think so. All right, so let's continue. Yeah, so I'm thinking. Um, I, I know I was, I was talking about doing um. A Poochian only playthrough of uh, Pokemon Sapphire. I kind of decided not to do that just because it seems kind of boring. Like, I started playing Sapphire again, and it's with RPGs that, you know, they have a really slow beginning, and I just didn't feel like going through the opening cutscenes. Yeah, it's kind of a running thing in RPGs that they have extremely long openings. Pokemon Ranger is infamous for having that. And the um, stupid snail. Yeah, so rather, I think I might do um, a casual playthrough of Pokemon Leaf Green, because I haven't really feel like, um, I I've been feeling like playing Pokemon recently, even though I'm doing a Pokemon walkthrough. Because doing a Pokemon walkthrough is the coolest thing ever. Hunter. Yeah, um, which way should I go? Which way should I go? I'm gonna go this way. Okay, apparently that was a good choice. I got a star. Apparently, okay, good. It doesn't seem like I'm missing any treasure, so. Get the Fire Lizard. Fire Lizard, it's a Charmander! Yeah, speaking of Pokemon... So, it seems as though there's a treasure down here. Let's Kirby our way down there. We're gonna Kirby our way down there. Because we're Secret Agent Kirby! Oh, did I miss one? Look, I would miss the first treasure! Just like in the last part, I'll cut ahead to me finding it, yada yada. Yeah, so, what else has been up with me? Um... I was kind of wondering if I should start doing, like, really blog-based commentary. Like, you know, talk about what's actually, like, up, like, with me personally. But I decided not to do that, because that's lame. And plus, my life is extremely boring. You'd be surprised. Like, n normally Let's Players, like Nintendo Capri Sun, you know, they've had a long life, they have a lot to talk about. Like, you know, they have a lot to talk about with, like, their life and all that. You know, I, I just, I'm, not, I'm just not the kind of person who has an interesting life. I mean, I, I know being a ginger is awesome, but I, I just don't have that many interesting life stories. And most of the, it's sad, most of my interesting, m most of my interesting life stories have something to do with Pokemon. So yeah. Um, wait, is there treasure down here? That actually be very nice, because I don't have to... Oh, maybe it is. Let's see what that zipper does. Is it gonna... Oh, yeah, I think it's gonna go to that egg. Alright, if this is a treasure, that'd be really nice. Is it? Um... Nice! Okay, so I'd have to redo this level. Thank goodness. See, so, yeah, like I was saying, my life really isn't that interesting. Um, oh, Jesus! 
Um, yeah, my life not that interesting at all. Just school. You know, I kind of kid around that my life is kind of scripted because I, because, because like sometimes I stop and think about how scripted my life is. You know, just going through grades and everything. All right, and then can I get the bonus? You. <sighs> I'm pretty sure this ruler has it in for me. I, I really do. All right, whatever. I'll go with it. God, I'm thirsty. Alright, so we 100 percent of that level, and now I think we took on the boss. Which, yeah, because there's four levels in each world, I, yeah. Then the boss, then the two secret levels. I I'm getting a little mixed up, because like, I was thinking of like the levels in this world, and I kind of forgot there was a desert level, and I, I just got really mixed up. Alright, so let's see what kind of patch we get. Let's do it. Alright, so that makes the volcano angry, I suppose. And that makes him erupt. That makes him erupt, excuse me. Okay, that's actually really cool. Alright, Hot Wings! Eat that! <laughs> yeah, so the next boss is Hot Wings. Save, okay. Now, this boss, I love this boss. Epic music, just epic everything. And plus, it looks like Moltres. See, see just look at that. It looks like freaking Moltres. Alright, so let's get started. Just jump right into this. Alright, oh look at Waddle Dee! He's so cute! He, he, he must be on a walk. He's so cute. What the- ah! That Waddle Dee! He's dead! You know, I, I bet that Waddle Dee had a family, you jackass! What the hell is wrong with you? Just killing random Waddle Dees? You know, there's a reason why he was working for King Nate today. He had, he had to make a living, you know, for a family. I'm, I'm sure he had like hundreds of kids in Korea or whatever. I don't know. You know, he had a life. He had friends. He'll be missed. I'm, I'm pissed now. I, I, I don't like this boss anymore. E even if he does look like a Moltres. <sighs> Anger aside, the way you beat this boss, he'll send little fireballs at you. Because he's because he's a jerk. Oh, Jesus. I don't think you can pick those up. But um, he'll... S yeah, sometimes he'll run at you like that, and his eyeball will kind of follow you. Which I think is kind of funny. Like, see, look at that. His pupil will follow you. Alright, and then he'll land there. Alright, so yeah, he'll fire some fireballs at you. Do -do. Oh, can I not? Oh, nice. And get... then you throw it at him. And I'll make him drop some beads. Just go for the stars. And then you pull him over there. Yeah, you'll notice that it's kind of a running theme that you kind of smack the bosses against the wall to hurt them. Oh, jeez. Yeah, normally after you hurt him. Oh, dang, that was actually really close. But yeah, after you hurt this boss, um, lava will erupt from the bottom. And um, um, unless you're on a platform, it'll hurt you, so... Oh, you would. Can I, can, can I get my stars back? Oh, Jesus! Okay, so far so good. Um, I'm pretty sure you only need to hit him three times. Just like the, you know, the magic number for Nintendo. Three times. Alright, and a lot like Fangora, um, his yarn is becoming more transparent because we're hurting him more. Wood is a nice touch, once again. Oh, Jesus, don't hurt me. I love how I crouched, as if that would help me. Oh, can I float over you? Ah, oh, you jerk. He was wing attack! Alright, whatever. Yeah, so he has a really easy to follow pattern, you know. Oh God. You know, for you know, for a while I, th I thought I'd be able to do this boss perfectly, but obviously not. Alright, just get enough beads and boom. And he explodes into yarn. How nice. Alright, well there is the second, maybe third, magic yarn. Yes. God, that sounds so nerdy and like kitty. The magic yarn. It's pretty. Mmm. Alright, whatever. What do you mean I did badly? No, I'm not gonna go there. Alright, you got the Hot Wings music. Hooray, I like that song. Hooray, hourglasses. Sure, why not? We did it! We got the magic yarn! The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patch land together. Meanwhile, back in Dreamland, the Waddle Dees were very busy inside Castle DDD. Let's go! Hop, hop, no slacking off, barked King DDD. Just then, the king noticed that one of his Waddle Dees looked a little. 
Uh, <laughs> Strange. That Waddle Dee was actually one of Yin Yarn's creations. <laughs> Soon Dreamland will be wrapped around my knitting needles, Yin Yarn cackled. What sort of plan was he stringing together? Wow, this this story is really intuitive. I am actually like legitimately curious as to what the is as what's going on. All right, this is a very serious matter. Now we got King Day today involved. Involved, and, and you know things get serious when you get a giant demon penguin involved right now. All right, so next time we are going to do the two secret missions of Hotland, and I guess I'll use this patch. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. I hope you enjoyed this part. Um, I guess if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, I, I guess, sure, why not? Alright, bye.